this area here during the wet season is got one or two feet of water in it. It's sort of a flood zone that floods part of the 220 acre Terra Pacifica development. Um, in the past, the water would come down here, it would wash off the land, the sediment from um, above would wash right into the river. Um, the water would not stay here uh, to be absorbed into the aquifer. What Elias and the farm group did is develop a kind of agriculture called chinampas, or wet, dry, uh, perennial, annual agriculture. And you'll see here, this is one of the chinampas, or hump, that was used to slow the water down, help it absorb, stop the sediment, but it has another function as well, which we'll talk about. Right now you can see how the chinampas was formed by first growing vetiver grass and then putting soil from the sedimentation that gets washed in on top um, uh, of, of the hump. And as the vetiver graph, grass slows the sedimentation down, um, we have the deposits that can then be used to build up the chinampas or raised bed. On the other side of the chinampas you'll see bamboo which also is used as um, a soil stabilization um, aid for this raised bed and for wind protection during the strong Papagayo winds in this area. If you go over here um, you can see that we have created sunken beds so in the rainy season these will also be full of a foot or two of water. Sediment will come in, birds will come in, fish and other aquatic life will come in and essentially inhabit this micro, um, this micro ecosystem. Um, when it dries up, these areas then become perfect for planting perennial crops. As you see here, we have peppers, tomatoes, um, and uh, cucumbers. So this is our second chinampa, or raised bed, again bordered by vetiver, where we put the sediment that comes in during the wet season on top, and it creates a growing bed for perennial crops. We have four different um, native crops that are grown here, and Elias can tell us what those are. Okay, uh, right now we have a katu here. You can see the katu tree. We have also Kelite. Kelite is a perennial, looks like a perennial spinach. Also, we have a lemongrass and basil. So from this, from the second raised bed or chinampa, we can move over here to see the second large sunken growing bed where we grow annual vegetable crops. And you'll see on the third chinampas that we have another perennial crop growing there, several kinds of bananas, some of which we've brought in from India, some of which are native to this area. What we have growing down here uh, is tomato, pepper, watermelon, pepino or cucumber, those will all be grown for the local market. There are some challenges with uh, chinapas gardening. The first one is having the labor that can build it to the right level of height and width and then determine the right kinds of plants that should be planted in this. And this is mostly about um, water and access to water. Too high it's too dry, too low it's too wet, um, too wide um, it's too dry, too narrow, it's too wet. So we've learned a lot about the right kinds of plants and the right kinds of height and width of these uh, growing beds to be successful. So this is one of our sunken growing beds. We're growing mostly tomatoes and peppers in here. We have three kinds of peppers, Panamanian, habaneros, and sweet peppers. We have about a half dozen kinds of tomatoes that we're growing here. Um, we've tested maybe 20 or 30 different varieties for this region. Tomatoes are challenging here, so the ones we've found that work best are certain kinds of cherry tomatoes and tomatillos. This year we're testing six varieties of tomatoes provided to us by Heinz Company, who's the largest tomato grower in the world, 
in terms of number of varieties and numbers of different places that they grow it. So they have a lot of expertise and this line of tomatoes right here you'll see is several of those Heinz varieties which we are now testing out. You'll see that the beds here are raised beds within the overall sunken bed system and we use for mulch vetiver grass that grows along the edge of the chinampas to help us maintain moisture, keep weeds down, and help create a better growing environment for all the plants. So what we've learned about chinampas is that it can be a very good way to adapt to a climate that is very wet half the year and very dry half the year. These chinampas allow us to grow perennial crops, but they also have other benefits. They help us create uh, areas of very fertile soil. They help us catch soil sediment that's otherwise washing out of our area. They help us catch and percolate water. Um, they also are very good for creating habitat all year long for different kinds of um, animals and, and plants.